provides you 24 hours of Rod Serling's Night Gallery. Show me your powers. Test your powers. Introduced by the horror master himself. Definitely not for the squeamish, I would say. Memorial Day has never been so frightening. There's something terribly evil about it. Please, don't watch alone. Why? Why? The Night Gallery Memorial Day Marathon. It would chill your blood. Sit back and prepare to be frightened. Beginning Memorial Day at midnight on the Mystery Channel. They'll be coming for you soon. Open up. I'm a detective. When a crime's been committed, Madcap Mysteries is on the case with clueless criminals. I didn't do it. Hey, <laughs> Gooey gumshoes. You unorganized, grab nasty gobble, teleplasmic. Murdering morons. You're going to have to get rid of him. How? Fumbling fugitives. Don't shoot him, an actor. No! My heart. My foot. And neurotic nincompoops. It's kill or be killed, York. I told you he was in the Marines. You said he was in the Marine Corps band. They kill people. With what? Piccolos? They are all part of Madcap Mysteries in May on the Mystery Channel. Coming up on the Mystery Channel, Detective Hercule Perot is called to duty. He is investigating a murder on the Orient Express. Next on the Mystery Channel. The following presentation is rated PG. Coming up on the Mystery Channel, Dustin Hoffman stars as a college marathon runner who gets trapped in a series of torturous events when a Nazi fugitive kills his brother and goes after him in Marathon Man. He's an aggressive, healthy, heterosexual male with a superior IQ of 141. And according to his test results, just a touch of paranoia. Tenacity. What do we do about Vic Grimes? What, when, and how? We kill him. And the power of persuasion. For a mere one million dollars, you can buy yourself your very own state Supreme Court justice. Bribe is if I were drowning and somebody threw me a life preserver, I wouldn't exactly call that a bribe. I just part of being an agent. Ellen Barkin. Lawrence Fishburne. Bad Company. Tonight at 8 on the Mystery Channel. The Star Super Pack. Up to 12 channels providing more movies and more choices than anyone else. The Star Super Pack. Here's what you can see tonight. Hey, look! A carnival! Enter a world where dreams become reality. I bet you something goes on after sundown. We gotta stay and see. Where terror and temptation live as one. Seems they destroy people by granting their dearest wishes. We came to warn you. Ah! 
there waiting for you. From the twisted mind of Ray Bradbury. My name is Mr. Dark. Please help me! Please help me! Jason Robards. I am picking up my thumb. Something wicked this way comes. Tomorrow at 8 on the Mystery Channel. It's a classic everyone done it. There's a murder, and everybody has a reason to kill this person. Which makes for a very intriguing movie. We went behind the scenes to get the inside snoop on drowning Mona. Uh, Mona, dearly hated by everyone, uh, dies in the opening frame of the movie in a car. The town policeman, Danny DeVito, has to investigate this accident. And then he basically, the rest of the movie is to try to figure out who in this town would want to kill Mona Dearly. And turns out everybody in this town wants to kill Mona Dearly. That fact alone may contain clues to tailing why Mona Dearly was despised. She knows a little bit about, about everybody's personal life and is able to really kind of use that against them to get what she wants. You notice anything odd lately? I mean, other than the fact that no one seems to care about this woman's death? Although the premise may be a tad strange, making the story work was an unexpected challenge for director Nick Gomez. It's just a very unique, very original kind of story. On one hand, it's very kind of real, the character's very real, and also very surreal. However, Gomez expertly allowed the story to unfold by using a sly technique. The story of Mona and the Dearly Clan is told through the various flashbacks. That's how the investigation is done. So that's how the portrait of Mona and her family is pieced together. And the character's bizarre qualities contained enough realism to make the film believable. Everyone is so weird and um, sick. If you knew them in real life, you'd, you'd say clearly they're a murderer. Drowning Mona's motley bunch of characters also add a little comic relief. I play Ellen. I play Danny's daughter. And um, she, is, she was Miss Verplank, New York, and um, that's probably the best thing that's ever happened to her in her life. Although again portraying enemies, Danny DeVito and Bette Midler were thrilled to co-star in Drowning Mona. Bette and I go back quite a while. We were good friends, and this was a, a really fine opportunity for us to you know, be in another movie together. And other cast members were equally excited about the film. It's a wonderful script. The people are really good. Nick is a, is a, is a really good director and sometimes takes me places that, that I didn't see, and I love that. One murder, a town full of suspects. I didn't do it. Are you crazy? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Put your hands down. I didn't do it. I didn't do it either. It's the making for a very good mystery. Drowning Mona, all this month on the Mystery Channel. Ted? I always knew the work of homicide would be glamorous. Well, too bad you can't get his autograph. I found this in his pocket. It's the uh, list of celebrities. Rest in peace. In case you don't realize it, Callahan, your name is on this list, too. The Deadpool is just a harmless game. Maybe I'll start my own Deadpool. Put you on it. You threatening me? You want to play the game? You better know the rules. He can't get away with it. He has to pay. Clint Eastwood is. Your job is to promote the positive image of this department. Dirty Harry in The Deadpool. You're getting a commendation. Swell. Saturday at 8 on the Mystery Channel. You killed him. He's dead! Prepare for the ultimate fright fest. That's insanity. A ghastly collection of horror guaranteed to scare. <laughs> We're going to convey you to the cemetery. The final resting place, the tomb, the crypt. The ossuary. Dig Boot Hill, baby. The Mystery Channel brings you 24 hours of Rod Serling's Night Gallery. Show me your powers. Test your powers. Introduced by the horror master himself. Definitely not for the squeamish, I would say. Memorial Day has never been so frightening. There's something terribly evil about it. Please don't watch alone. Why? We're why? The Night Gallery Memorial Day Marathon. It would chill your blood. Sit back and prepare to be frightened. Beginning Memorial Day at midnight on the Mystery Channel. They'll be coming for you soon. Coming up on the Mystery Channel, Dustin Hoffman stars as a college marathon runner who gets trapped in a series of torturous events. When a Nazi fugitive kills his brother and goes after him in Marathon Man.
The following presentation is rated R.